Hello, Taylor here with another nifty idea on how to secure triptychs. If you're wondering what that sound is, that's George. Say hello to George. This has been a personal moment. He used to have Gracie. Long story, not going there. And then we have Buzz. He doesn't make noise. Back to the video. Ugly floor, ugly floor, ugly floor. So anyways, here is uh, four panels. Here are four panels. I just secured them with blue painter's tape. This works great with small panels. Won't work so well with other panels. I will be pouring in fluorescent colors today. So I'll be back shortly and I'll show you that pour. I'm just using Floetrol, Floetrol and uh, Artist Loft, which was two for a buck and try not to see the clutter in the back because my space is just out of control at the moment. See you in a bit. Okay, back to it. This is my inspiration. I used white and purple in this one. I'm leaving the white out of this pour, but I am including the purple. This is my inspiration for my neon pour today. I went ahead and I flattened out the blue tape on the back. So, see it holds nice and steady so that I can pour and stay here. I've obviously got more than enough paint for this, so I'm probably going to have leftovers, which I hate because for some reason I don't want to waste them. And I won't. I'll find something to do. Rocks, rocks. Bring me my rocks. So, anyways, we'll do this really super quick, I hope. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Straddled between two floor mats. That's just awkward on every level. Okay, so there's a little bit of flow trawl. Don't think it's going to affect much. Um, these haven't been sitting long. Looks like I won't be using my torch because I'm not sure where it is. One pink, 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 pink. And it looks like I'm going to have paint boogers because I really didn't mix. We're in a hurry. <laughs> I'm in a hurry because I'm going to go to a movie in a little while. So I'll have to probably pull some paint boogers out of my final painting. I don't have a lot of purple left. This is left over from a pour from, gosh, a week ago. I haven't been pouring as much as I wanted to. I've been working on a craft boutique, well, not boutique, craft pop-up for December. So that's kind of taking me away from painting, which isn't good, but that's okay. Okay, so am I gonna stir it? Mm. Sure, why not? All these funny questions you think you have answered until, ugh, bloody hell. Okay. Excuse my French. Excuse my naughty words. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Notice no silicone. Hopefully I didn't just muddy the bejeebers out of it. I don't know if you could see that. So in side, side view is very boring. It's mostly pink. Should be interesting. Let the party begin. Flip cup. Dirty flip cup. Homage, homage. Okay, gonna let it sit a bit and hopefully some of that pink will flow down. Use it. Whoops, so, yeah, let's muddy it more. Well, there you go. Kind of get to see what it looks like on the side. Make sure you can see that. Party, party. Eco product. So that's uh, biodegradable if the paint isn't, but the paint will be peeled out and put to some other use. Do, do, do. Oh, that might be trademarked. Oh, I better watch it. Name that tune. Okay. Gosh, it's very warm in here. It's it's only 75 in here, but I'm bundled up, so... Yeah, it seems a lot warmer. Okay, here we go. The big reveal. Me. Well, we'll see. Maybe there's hope. And obviously I dripped. I dripped. There we go. Quickie, quickie, quickie. The movie is starting soon. And hopefully it'll develop further as it dries. Oh, mud, mud. Wherefore out there art thou mud? Try not to give it too much movement, but just enough. Since I'm not dripping down the sides due to the painter's tape. I'm going to have to do a bit of backfilling, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. It's a creative process, man. Oh, look at that smug smear. Oogie oogie. Okay, let's see where she's going to take us. Down to the land of mud right through there. That's okay. You know, a quick pouring video... We're lying to you when we say we're going to have a quick pour. Yeah, see, I've got lumps. I've got some serious paint boogerage. 
and that's because I was impatient, so I'm not going to get the result that I probably would have had I been a little less impatient. Yes, big paint boogers. Will I leave them in? <laughs> I might. They might look like little meteorites or something. I don't know. We'll see. So what am I digging here? The green and the pink. Notice I'm still getting cells even though I did not add flow troll. I mean, didn't I? I added flow troll. I did not add silicone. I misspeak. Quick, beat me up in the comments. I'm just kidding. Anyways, it's been kind of a rough week. Oh, well, you know, I'm just going to kind of leave those in there, I think. Well, as I pick them out. We'll see. Maybe I'll pick the ugly ones out. That's ugly, right? I'm going to pick that ugly thing out. Nah. Who cares? It's all good. So there we go. There's a neon pour. Um, I do really dig the purple. I'm not so sure about that over there. But at least it will look like it's a cohesive pour. Because you can connect the dots. Mm. More marbling would have been a little bit better, I think. So with Floetrol, you can get cell action. Um, if I can find my torch, I'm going to pause you real quick. This time I actually got it going before coming back. So now I'm just going for bubbles. Obviously not cells because there's no silicone to be heated up and rise to the top. There we go. I have been thinking about doing some texturizing with... A comb that I left elsewhere, but I guess that is not going to quite happen. Now, if you did want to fill in the sides, you could. But anyways, there you are. Have a great day. Hope this has been inspirational. Uh, one part paint to one part by volume Floetrol to a few drops of water, and you're good to go. And I even have leftovers, so hmm, maybe I'll go crazy with that. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.